Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a repair on my Emu 1820M sound card. Got a problem with the box here. Started making some static, some pops, clicks coming through the speakers. Also when I restarted it said it couldn't find the breakout box, which this is just one half of the sound card. There's also a PCI card that goes inside the computer and it connects via Ethernet shielded cord to this breakout box. So I've heard about this problem uh, years ago and this one's nearing on 10 years old even though you can see it's pretty much in mint condition I'm gonna start by getting those screws out there's two on each side some uh, two millimeter Allen head screws and we'll get the cover off Okay, now that all the four Allen screws are out, this cover here will just kind of lift off. There we go. We'll just place that aside. It's kind of interesting, they got a foam pad on top. Okay, so with the cover off, I can see the problem right off the bat. It's right there it's these two caps like everybody talks about you can see these caps are are bulged I can feel them it might be a little hard to see with the camera I'll try to get a different angle down here okay this is a view from the right side of the audio dock of those caps in question that are blown you can see the tops of them they're starting to mushroom out they're starting to pop up on both these caps here they're not completely puked and blown out but they should look like this cap where it's completely flat across the top. That's how we know these are bad and also that this is a very common problem on the sound card. So I'm going to go ahead and get started removing these caps and going to order up some new ones. We'll solder them in and fingers crossed and when we're all done, my sound card works once again. Here, another thing too to take note on, these are polarized capacitors with the stripe here on the back indicating that they should only go in a certain way. So this stripe should face towards the rear of the enclosure. Alright, so I got the thing hanging off the end of the bench a little bit. I'm just going to reach down from underneath and try and wiggle that cap out as I use a soldering iron here. to. There we go. That moved down a little bit. That one a little more. And get this cap out. Almost there. There we go. And that released it. So I got the first one out. And I just got to go and pull the second one. There we go. We're almost through. There we go. Second one's out. Okay. We'll clean these up a little later. Okay, this is just a little bit of searching, about five minutes. I found this, $6.85 to my door. I got 10 pieces coming. That should be more than plenty to replace the two that are popped if I decide to replace any of the other ones that are similar or just keep them on hand as spares. And three days later, I got these to my door. The exact same capacitor, same manufacturer values and everything. That was about seven bucks to my door. And I bought a tube of solder, seven bucks. So I got about 14 bucks into this. It'd be less if you have the solder, but I barely have any left, so that's why I bought that. Okay, so this is the cap here I'm gonna replace. I just kinda got it resting in place. One of the legs is about to pop through the holes, but I'm just gonna hold it up carefully and then get the other leg through. I just want it to pop through for now. I'll do the finer soldering once this is all done. I just want to get them through so I can work the other side of the board. Same thing here. Get that one in place. All 
right, I'm just going to come back in here and clean these connections up, make sure everything is nice and soldered. Okay, so the caps are in. This one here and also this one right behind it. We got them back in the way they're supposed to be. The stripe's supposed to point towards the back. The, the non-stripe side, you can see there's a little positive down there on the board. And if you notice, there's other caps around here that are the exact same cap. There's seven of them. These two, number three, four, five. And if I move this cable out of the way, you see there are six and seven. So I'm just going to stick with replacing these two. I could replace all seven because I did get a pack of ten, but I don't really want to go that crazy with it, and I don't know how these caps function uh, as far as the circuit goes comparatively to these two, because from what I've seen, it's these two are the problem caps, the ones that always blow. So I'd rather have plenty on hand, and besides, if I started replacing caps and everything, I could say, well, what about these orange guys over here? You know, I want to replace those all too. So I think this is going to be good. I think this is going to solve the problem. Okay, let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again. The board just drops in this bottom chassis. It's held in with four screws. It can only go in one way. There we go. Slide you back into place. So one last final little quality control test. Just want to make sure everything went back on the way it should. Everything's all aligned. You know, sometimes when things go together, they might have like a little tab, the way pieces go together. So just want to make sure that everything's back together the way it should be on this. Yep, and everything looks good. So it's time to go take this back into the studio and plug it back in and see if I got sound. Okay, so I got the breakout box installed back in my rack. Ethernet cord plugged in. Fingers crossed, everything's going to be a go. Let's power everything up. Prepare for power up. Three, two, one. We have launch. I really like this i7. This thing pretty much is on and not even 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. That just lit up, which is a good sign. Now before I was getting this popping coming from my monitors, usually it would come out of one monitor and then every 30 seconds it would come out the other side, then this side. Oh, that's a good sign. We've got audio. All right. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. But everything's working. I've got sound again. This was a great fix. 1820M, back in business after a simple cap repair. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.